Okay, so I've got the Sanwa buttons plugged into the arcade control panel, uh, the tester panel. Um, they actually feel quite good one, and look quite good once they're actually screwed into place. Um, it feels nice, they, they actually feel nice. Um, I'm really torn whether to stick with these or go with the HAP style concave buttons, but um, I'll have to give them an actual play with the games and see you know, which ones I do prefer. So yeah, I'll have to keep you posted on that one, but they actually look pretty good, especially with the nice Neo Geo color scheme going on there. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, welcome back, and yeah, nice update now to the arcade build project. So, um, I've got a bunch of arcade controls here now, uh, I've got a bunch of buttons and sticks to try out. So, thanks for all the suggestions. Uh, a lot of the names I heard uh, came uh, from you guys were like Sanwa, Seimitsu, uh, Hap. So, I've bought a variation of buttons here and controls to, to try out and see which ones I like the best. Uh, now when I first thought about doing this arcade build I had a certain style of button in mind. Now the, the arcade buttons I'm most familiar with and I grew up seeing and playing and using are this kind of con concave style button. Uh, these are like a standard arcade button you'd see anywhere on the, any old, the old school arcade arcades. Um, and this is what I'm used to, but you know, you guys suggested that uh, uh, Sanwa and Seimitsu were the best buttons to buy. Now, the problem I have with those is that they're not really the style I like. Even though you know they're really good, they're pre-micro switched. Uh, they're a con, they're a convex style, um, so they don't have like an in indent for your button. But the idea with these is that like you know, competition professionals use them. You get more of an instant response. Uh, when you're playing games. So um, I, I bought a, a, a variation of buttons to try out and see if I do actually prefer the Sanwa ones over the standard arcade buttons. Um, I mean so far, I, I mean as, as good as these ones might be, um, I'm still kind of verging on buying the standard shape ones. Now these are the, uh, these are, there's, a, there's a brand called HAP which is a North American brand and this, this is the kind of style of button you'd see on most North American old school arcades. Uh, these are more Japanese style. Um, joystick wise, I've gone with a Japanese style joystick, um, which is this. Uh, this is a four to eight way switcher, I think. You can choose which one you want. Um, I chose a red ball. Um, you can get different colors and stuff, so I, I went with this one. The advantage of having this kind of stick as well, actually, is um, the the other kind of control is called a bat top. Um, but I went with the Japanese style because if you get a bat top arcade stick, apparently it's not as easy to switch over for a ball. Uh, and these are much more apparently they're much easier to use and better to use for games like Street Fighter 2. So I, I decided to go against go with the Japanese style ball. Um, and the advantage is if you, if you want to, you can put a bat top style. Uh, top on there but this is a nice uh, this is a Sanwa branded arcade it's nice and micro switch so you can choose whether you have four way or eight way I think I'm gonna go with the four way switching because apparently again that's better better response wise so I'll play with different setups and see what I come up with so I just want to say thanks again for all your suggestions um, so what I'm gonna do now what I've done is I'll pan the camera down and I'll show you what I've got here so uh, this black box that you see, uh, this is essentially an arcade. Um, it's an arcade stick box essentially. So it's it's, it's like a black uh, poly. It looks like a, some sort of acrylic plastic. Let me take this off. I haven't really unplugged it yet. So I'm going to pl plug all the buttons into this box. Um, see which ones, have, have a play, set it all up and see which ones I actually prefer playing with, which ones feel the best. Um, what I've done button wise as well, I've gone with the four different colours, so I've got all the Neo, because I'm having Neo Geo games, I've got the Neo Geo colours on here. And uh, I've just got a couple of extra white buttons, I might have, I might change these to red actually. 
Um, but I, I went with the four Neo Geo colors so I can have a Neo Geo kind of color order. And I've got two extra white ones here. Uh, arcade control is going to go there. And I've got two of these to try out as well. So I've got one that's micro switch. I've, I've got one, well, these come, these don't come micro switched, but I've got one micro switch for this one just to see what these are like when they are micro switched and just a standard one. So that's going to be my start and insert coin buttons on here. So I'm going to connect all those in and, you know, see how I feel and see, you know, what feels better. Um, so. Yeah, I'm just kind of on the fence with whether I like these over the concave buttons. So yeah, I'll have to just kind of try them out and see see what they're like. Um, but yeah, that's the next update is the control. So I'm going to get this all set up uh, and see how it plays. Obviously, I have to get like an eye pack to you know do all the wiring. Now, the reason that I actually got this uh, arcade control box is because. I've never like done this before in my first arcade build and I've you know the wiring I'm actually quite worried about doing you know I've, I've, I see a lot of tutorials and stuff and talking you how talking you through how to do them but I wanted to get one of these so I can use it as like a practice to do the wiring I'm gonna get a, an iPack kit that has wires already pre crimped and stripped so I can just literally connect them all up so it would be as simple as possible um, but yeah, I've got this arcade box to, you know, put together a little practice arcade, uh, you know, to, to see which buttons I like and just to practice the wiring. And then when I get the main bar top cabinet, you know, I'll know which buttons to buy to, you know, to put into it. Um, but yeah, this is just like a little practice kit essentially. So I'm going to put this together and, and use it for that. Um, that's pretty much it. The next update I'm going to have, I've actually, I've actually decided to go and try out a retro, uh, a Raspberry Pi. So I was showing you all the kind of in my previous video how I was configuring the attract mode. Um, I was had that running off a laptop, which I was going to actually connect into the arcade unit and you know run the monitor off that. But looking at it, I'm thinking of going or trying at least Raspberry Pi. They're really cheap. I've got one for about 35 quid. So I've got a Raspberry Pi on its way. I'm going to, you know, install and configure that. So the next bit when that comes is doing the programming for that. Uh, so I'm going to run off Raspberry Pi and uh, that'll be the next exciting st uh, step in doing all the programming for that and installing that. And that, that's again, that's another thing I'm really new to. I've never had one before. So I've been reading up a load about it, how they work, how to install them and how to install RetroPie on them. So, uh, really excited about it. But yeah, this is uh, this is where I am at the moment. Arcade controls, and uh, yeah, putting all these together for the next step. So um, again, if you've got any um, questions or ideas about what I can do with this, um, yeah, please post them in the comments. I'll try and keep you up to date. If I've got any new information, I'll, I'll post a video. But yeah, so far, this is the next step. So I'm going to put all these together, and I'm I'm really gonna, uh, you know, I, re I really want these concave style buttons. That's what I, that's the style I really like. You know, as good as these Samwa ones supposedly are with the response, I'm I'm not really it. Uh, you know, I'm not really doing this for the you know arcade competitive professional kind of setup. You know, instant response. I, I want the more nostalgic feel and. Even though you can micro switch these, I'm sure they'll still be just as good. So, again, I'll, you know, I'll get a few more buttons and I'll, I'll practice with these kind of style ones and see what they feel like compared to the Sanwa ones. But thank you so much for your suggestions. Uh, stay tuned for more updates. And again, if you've got any more ideas about what I can do, especially if any of you are familiar with doing or using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and configuring it in that way. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure my next video will be when I get the Raspberry Pi. It's on its way now. Um, and I'll start to configure that and play with that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.